Um, I, I do want to say this. You know, there was a time where I thought Bret Hart really got fucked over by the WWE. And then after looking at it with 20 years to kind of look back, I think the right thing to do was fuck him, take the title off of him, because you can't even run the partial risk of somebody disappearing with their belt to another company. I, wow. I kind of hate to say <laughs> it, but, you know, it just years later, looking back on it with a cooler head and a little more age on me, Bret Hart was starting to get a little jumpy at that point in his life. I, I think we all rem- you know, remember seeing him kind of get a little woe is me about shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah, Brett, all Americans usually lose the title in America. It doesn't hurt to have a Canadian lose the title in Canada. Yeah. Um, you know, my only two cents on that is um, I read Bret Hart's book and I enjoyed it, but I, it was one of those things where it just kept, it's like you said, it's like, well, for me, it's like, I'm thinking, man, you, you was there 14 years or 15 years of a good fucking job. You was a champion. You was tag team champions. And I don't want, you know, uh, uh, crush the guy or bury the guy, but I just kept getting the impression like, when, when's this going to get better? And uh, when's it stop going to be? I know it's your book, but when's it all about, you know, you and, and, and losing the fucking title in Canada, man. I mean, you know, hell, uh, I, I think what you said is correct. And looking back now, you, you have to protect your business. And, and, and Vince knew what he was protecting, you know. So yeah. uh, and whatever the fuck it is, you know. Yeah, and it's not going to be very often you hear me say Vince was correct. You know, Vince McMahon was correct <laughs> about something. So. Oh, okay. You know, I, I know that's, well, a, that's an odd hill to go fight on, but that's the one I picked, you know. Yeah, no, no, man, that's cool for me. I'm, I'm good with it, man. I, I just, um, I, you put a, you put it in there in a good spot, I guess, you know. But, but you know, we're talking about the, the stable there, and you're, you're talking about one individual in that stable. Look at the run he had with that, you know, with that stable, and, and as an individual. So why bitch, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? Look, Bret Hart was a great so, tactician. He was a great psychologist in the ring. He uh, actually wrestled. Yes. You know, there's, you know, there's not much to complain about. And I'm not even really complaining. I just understand. No, no. I just understand why as a business owner, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not taking the risk. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. When you look back at it that way, you have to do what's best for your business at that time. Yeah. You know, and so, um, and, and again, I'm going with the whole pin me, pay me thing. Who gives a fuck if it's your hometown or your home country? And I realize it wasn't his hometown, but it was his home country. But how many fucking Americans lose the title in America, you know? And I love Canadian people. Yeah. They're all pretty damn cool people, actually, you know? So, uh, shout out to you over there in Canada land. Um, I got my first big break up there on the, uh, in the Maritimes. But, uh, man, fuck. You got to get beat, get beat. I mean, that's just, it's a fucking pin me, pay me, yeah. motherfucker. Well, you there know, you go. <laughs> I want to I want to expand on this a little bit. What's the number one complaint you hear about Shawn Michaels? He didn't want to toss the title to anybody, right? He didn't want to do his job. Well, yeah. <laughs> so Brett not losing in Canada is basically not wanting to do your job. It's hard for me to bitch about one and not the other. I'm, I'm not trying to create a moral equivalency. I'm just trying to say that. Look, you know, when when I 